uh, within the unsecured retail space, including credit cards, uh, there will be a lot of difference between various banks um, because it's, it totally depends on individual banks' lending standards. For example, some of the large banks, including SBI and ICICI, we know for a fact that uh, they typically lend unsecured uh, to their own corporate salary, salary customers, which means they have good visibility on the cash flows. They are regularly seeing salary increments. And that is one of their basis for giving out this loan. They, they feel comfortable that based on this cash flow, they can give out this loan. Uh, the other thing is a large part of this lending happens to salaried uh, borrowers. So as long as employment conditions in India are fairly stable, at least in the formal sector, uh, it means that default rates in this in these products should not be extremely high. Now, I must point out that uh, typically delinquencies, early delinquencies, as well as uh, what you call a non-performing asset, which is 90 days past due, in credit cards will be higher than some of the other products. These are typically higher risk uh, um, products generally per se. Um, and I think uh, if I look at all the product segments, credit cards is one segment where we have seen some uh, rise in early delinquencies, even over the past few quarters. But still, it remains more or less at manageable levels. What happens in credit cards also is that uh, maybe a customer is, um, you know, has not paid in 30 days. But uh, once the bank uh, follows up and they uh, kind of, you know, explain to the customer, they end up paying uh, after some period of time. So there may be a bit of lag. And it may show up as an early delinquency, but it does not automatically mean that this customer is going to default. This is quite a common practice um, in credit cards.